about time for me to stream my first Miss Light game. I, uh, I've never actually played a game that's uh, like Mist ever since Mist actually came out, which I've been totally aware of it. I just never been interested in the genre. And uh, Lost Eden, that we'll be playing tonight, was recommended to me. And uh, we're going to be playing on the Philips CDI, the Compact Disc Interactive. So, basically strap in. This is going to be quite the ride. Actually, no, it's going to be very slow paced, but uh, hopefully it'll be very entertaining. So, anyway, let me uh, kill the music here. And we will swap on over to the old CDI and get this bad boy started. Um, I did change my uh, UI quite a little bit. I went back towards a uh, more simplistic look. And uh, yeah, I kind of like it. So anyway, um, I actually started streaming just like a little bit ago. And so I've already like played the first like couple minutes of the game. And then I realized that I was uh, streaming to my test stream uh, instead of my main stream. So that was a real good, uh, good, good play on my part. So <laughs> anyway, we're going to just basically restart everything. Uh, we'll uh, fire up the, uh, the movie. We'll watch it and then we'll get into the game. And we get uh, treated to this lovely Philips CD Interactive logo that starts apparently at the beginning of every single game that I've played so far. Um, I've played about played about five games so far since uh, since I got my CDI. I want to say so. This must have been like a, kind of a requirement. But the uh, capture quality on the CDI is actually quite good. It's got this weird sort of hash to it, but it looks fine. It looks like that on the CRT as well. I don't know if that's some sort of comb filter or something like that on the uh, Philips CDI or what, but it's definitely unique to the machine. Looks good though. Colors come across real good. My name is Eloy and I am old. <laughs> These days, I'm content to look out at the world from high in the white arch. But when I was younger, I traveled the world and saw many great wonders. And of all the tales I could tell, none is more wonderful than that of Adam, Prince of Mo. For all the CGI stuff, there's uh, some weird letterboxing, by the way. So if you notice the bar being further up or down, it's just the way the game is. The game definitely has some uh, some interesting music. I kind of enjoyed it so far, despite it being very, I want to say new agey. I'm not really sure what the genre is, but it's relaxing. It's going to be a very relaxed stream. In those times, the tyrant were once again on the rampage. Thirsty for blood and carnage, their leader was the dreaded Marcus Rex. The years of uneasy peace had come to an end. We got some dinosaur bones here. Looks like we got uh, people riding on dinosaurs, so I guess that's the uh, technology level we're at. The trust that had once united humans and dinosaurs was lost, and none could stem the pitiless tide that oh God. down from the north. <laughs> that, is, that is totally a penis. Yep. I would say, I would go so far as to say that is Euro Dong. Oh, there's no way I would do that. No goddamn way. Hanging out on the neck of a what are they? Uh, brachiosaurs, the really huge the ones of a similar to brontosaurs. Safety. The citadel at Mo in the kingdom of Mashar. Okay, this must be where we. Oh, 
Well, that's interesting architecture considering the technology level. Huh. I wonder if there's going to be actual technology. Adam's father brooded within the castle's massive walls, brooded. unwilling or unable to see that Morgus Rex would never stop until the whole world lay bleeding at his feet. Hmm. Okay, so there's some uh, T-Rex looking like almost human-like dude. That is the the big bad of the game, supposedly. Lost Eden. All right, so that was uh, that's pretty much the end of the uh, the cinematic here. So we'll just go ahead and go on into the game. Like I said, I've already seen this because uh, I started streaming just a little bit. And uh, I'll have to go in and change some settings right away. It does put me right into the game, which is interesting. Um, just boom, you're in there. Uh, I do need to change the music level down a little bit. We need to lower you both down to here. And same with you. This one on the right is definitely important because uh, when they're talking, you don't want the music to be too too loud. So, yeah, well, we can turn the regular music up just a little bit. There we go. Hopefully that's enough. We'll go ahead and make a save here. Um, I do know that every time I come into the game, I have to reset all of this stuff. It's a common complaint of this version of the game from what I've read. But anyway, um, I know where to go, but I'm just going to go kind of immediately through what I had already done previously. So uh, there isn't anything missed here because there is a, a couple of interesting things that are like side detours. I got to the king's room last time, which is only like a couple minutes away. I can talk to this guy. His name is Thug. And I'll let him do his uh, talking. Hello. Counselor Monk, look for you. King want you in the throne room. Adam, not leave. King orders. Thug obey king. Yeah, and Thug will not let you leave. Apparently trying to go this way is the way to leave. And uh, good old Thug, he uh, <laughs> he's, he's quite the trooper. Won't let you go. Not sure what he's supposed to be. If he's supposed to be some kind of like, if he's actually like an orc or something like that, or if he's supposed to be part dinosaur, part human, um, sort of like the the T Rex bad guy, maybe. I don't know if it's a race. I'm sure we'll find out at some point. But anyway, we go down this way, and we go down an elevator where I'm not sure how it's powered, but we won't question that. And uh, I won't go through them, but this door over here to the left. Actually, we will go over here. Uh, anytime the song reloads, the game kind of pauses a little bit, which is interesting. We'll go in here just to show it off. This looks a, a bit like a dungeon, and there's a guy that you can't understand. I do wonder... Uh, I'm not sure if this is a dungeon. I mean, it kind of looks like a dungeon because it's got this, but I'm not sure about all the rest of this stuff. This almost looks like lawn furniture. But, uh, this guy is, uh, he's got lots of things to say. <laughs> There's probably somebody out there who knows uh, what that trans translates to. Uh, going to the right, this is just, you can't go through here, it's just blocked. I'm assuming I'll be able to gain access to it later. So we will move forward. And this door does open up. And I don't know what that pylon is to the right there. Maybe it's some sort of like switch to be able to raise that. Uh, anyway, this is a room uh, that has nothing in it that I, I just don't know what it is, so we won't go in there. However, we will go down here because this is uh, right before where we left off. 
when I figured out that I'm an idiot was uh, streaming to my test account. So yeah, the uh, this thing here kind of tells you where you can go. You can see that it's pointing down, so it allows you to go back and it'll point up and to the left and right if you can. It also has this eyeball thing when you can inspect things. And that's like some piece of paper, I guess. This curious tablet was taken from Wukong, the captured Tyrion general, whose roaring keeps everyone awake. I have studied the tablet for many years, but it remains a mystery. We'll talk to him again. He has something different there to say. You are, my lord. It's me, Monk. Your father asked me to look for you. <laughs> they actually he called like him Monk. It's not an occupation. Room. It's not a way of life. It's just his name because they couldn't come up with something else, apparently. Uh, so I was talking over there, over that. There you are, my lord. It's me, Monk. Your father asked me to look for you. He would like to see, to see, to see you in the throne room. Your father has a visitor. You ought to get to the throne room. Okay. Your father has a visitor. You ought to get to the throne room. Okay. There we go. I was wondering how I exited. Okay, so this lets me go forward here. I didn't see this last time. Ooh. What is this? I get to inspect it. Here are your ancestors, embalmed for eternity, and here they will all remain until the citadel crumbles to dust or is captured by Tyrion. His ancestors embalmed for eternity, and my old roommates were just bombed for eternity. <laughs> uh, I'm a chuckle fuck. All right, so I don't believe there's anything else in here. Um, I have a CDI mouse uh, that's coming in the mail that I'm kind of excited for because there's a lot of games on the CDI that use the mouse. In fact, almost every game can use the mouse. And uh, that'll make things like this a, a little easier. It's not too hard with the old controller. This is actually kind of a nice controller, to be honest, um, outside of the D-pad being a little stiff. But anyway, we're going to go to the, uh, the old king's room here. And see what he has to say. Oh, hey, Eloy. Ah, Prince Adam. It's a great honor to meet you. I spell honor the uh, British way. <laughs> My son, I asked old monk to send you here. I fear this day of your coming of age will not be the joyous occasion we had planned. This is Eloy, and he brings grave news from the north. Eloy? My lords! The city of Shamar has been attacked and destroyed by the Tyran. The humans there have been slaughtered and taken for food. There are few survivors. Kim? Shamar destroyed. It seems Morcus Rex and his Tyran hordes will not rest until the whole world has been turned to blood and ashes. You know, the voice acting in this isn't really terrible. So Morcus Rex is our bad guy, and his evil dudes are the Tyran Hordes. So we'll need to remember that. Uh, but yeah, the voice acting so far, been all right. Not cringy at all. You see the dangers which lie outside our fortress, Adam. Its mighty walls are all that stand between us and destruction. You must remain within the Citadel. This is my order. Hmm. 
You are my only surviving child, the heir to the throne of Mashar. Your duty is here in the Citadel of Mo with your people. Oh, okay, so he wants me to stay behind. Never forget that your sister and your mother, my beloved Jelana, were murdered not more than one day's march from here. The same fate must not befall you. <laughs> now, that's what we like to call a giant exposition dump, because obviously my character uh, would know all that information that he just, you know, told us as the player. So that was not handled real smoothly, but we'll kind of go with it. You do need to know that info. Wow. Okay. Is that Eloy? Look at that. Yeah. Man, you know, some of the backgrounds and stuff have been impressive, but so far that not so much. All right. Let's see if we can uh, get any more out of the king. You are my only surviving child. The heir to the throne of Masha. Your duty is here in Mo. Forget your dreams of exploring the world. Okay, so this is why he's brooding. Uh, let's see if he uh, changes at all. You are nope. All right, let's talk to Eloy here. I may visit you in your room later. Okay, I think I know what where my room is at. I've been telling the king of my travels. Well, that's wonderful, Eloy. <laughs> All right, let's see if he says anything else. I may. Nope. Let's go. Anything else in here that I might need? Um, this takes me to my inventory screen. There's actually a button dedicated to the inventory screen. In fact, there might be two. All right, so. Let's go talk to the monk again. Pretty sure I need to talk to him. Ah, Prince Adam, uh, I know you seek knowledge of the world outside the Citadel, but do not judge your father too harshly. Your safety is his prime concern. Yeah, I get that, dude, but it's got to let me be. It's got to let me go sow my royal oats. I'm Prince Adam, the masters of the universe. It is a great pity that the science of building the citadels has been lost. For only with this knowledge... Can we stand up to the strength of the Tiran? Hmm. So are they intentionally losing their technology? Maybe that's why the uh, architecture looked like it was uh, a little bit more advanced than what we, you know, kind of thought uh, with, you know, people riding dinosaurs and stuff. Maybe there was a bunch of uh, but alas, your things forgotten, technology forgotten. has been lost forever. Only here at Mo are we safe from Morcus Rex. If only the great secret could be rediscovered. Ooh, I have a feeling that we are going to be on a mission to discover that secret. Prince Adam, take this talisman. It is my coming of age gift to you. It will give you courage. Oh, okay. Thanks, old dude. Does this uh, do anything different? It's got kind of a cool effect on it. This curious tablet was taken from Wukong, the captured Tyrion general, who's roaring... Okay, we already heard this. All right, so uh, Eloy said he was going to visit me in my room, and I know that there is only one other place I can even go to, and that's definitely not my room. It's a dungeon. So we're going to go in here. Oh, what's up, Eloy? Forgive me for yes. entering your room, Prince Adam. 
I was just about to call him a stalker. Should not reach the king's ears. But that's okay, we can forgive him. The female Dina wishes urgently to speak with you outside. Okay. So, hot date? She has unlocked the gate to the side entrance, so you'll be able to slip out without being seen. It's my duty as a guest of your father to remind you of his wishes. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. So, he knows full well that your father, Prince Adam's father, does not want him to go anywhere. And then he sets up everything, a person to me and a side entrance to be open so that you can leave. And then he's like immediately goes, oh, but yeah, your, your dad doesn't want you to go. <laughs> right, man. OK, so they could have definitely whoever did the art uh, artwork on these scenes. The, yeah, they definitely could have done a little better. Let's see if Eloy has something else to say. I understand you're curious about the world outside. Perhaps you'll find this small stone of interest. Okay. You gonna tell me about the stone? Seriously, what... What do I do with this? It was given to me by a group of nomads from the east. Allow me to present it to you as a gift for your coming of age. Thanks. Keep it. It may be useful. Alright. Okay, so it'll probably be some sort of badge or identification thing, I'm assuming, at some point. I don't really know how these games work. Uh, should get my notebook in case I need to take any notes. In fact, I'm going to go do that uh, right now so I don't have to do it later. So I'll be right back. Handy dandy notebook in hand, just in case it's needed. All right, let's see if we can, uh, I'm wondering if it's the uh, gate that goes past Thug or if it's this one. We'll just click this one and see what happens. Well, that worked. Aw, this is not the chick I was hoping it'd be. Dina? Dina? It takes so long for him to, to bring this stuff up and start uh, playing. Adam, you have come. My grandfather Tao is dying and begs to speak with you. Let me take you to him. No one will see us. Okay, we're going to do it under like the cover of dark or something? Or... Oh, okay. So, can't go left. Can't go right, but I can definitely go forward. Hey, what's going on, Kiba? Welcome. I'm not sure if you've uh, played Mist or any Mist-like game, but this is Lost Eden on the CDI. And uh, so far, it's been interesting. It doesn't even have cringeworthy voice acting, which almost kind of disappoints me a little bit. The voice acting's actually been fairly good. Oh, no wonder nobody's gonna be able to see us. It's uh, all entirely, <laughs> it's entirely in the snow. Yeah, Lost Eden uh, has been rec recommended to me uh, a couple different times. Apparently, it came out for the PC on DOS. Uh, it came out on the 3DO and it came out on the CDI. And apparently, the CDI version is really good. And so far, it, it looks pretty good. As far as these games go. But, uh... Can I do anything? No. Uh, looks like I can go back, but we don't want to go back. Uh... Huh, okay, so I have uh, Dina in my quote-unquote inventory now. Can I just talk to her? Oh, looks like you can. Nice. Okay. Let's go in. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's go in. Okay. Um, how do I get out of here? There we go. No, I, I don't want to do that. 
There we go. Well, at least you've got a, a little bit up on me with Mist and Riven. I've got a notebook here handy just in case I, uh, I need it. Currently, we just met with uh, the king who is uh, my character's father, and he does not want me to go out exploring anymore. Uh, apparently, there was supposed to be some big coming of age celebration, but however, some guy named Morcus Rex, who's some big lizard thing, is attacking everybody. And uh, yeah, your father just basically wants you to stay in their giant castle that's like completely fortified against like any kind of attack by the dude. And of course, you immediately disobey. All right, so ooh, what is that? I can grab it. It looks like some sort of knife, maybe. Wait, you should speak with my grandfather. Oh, okay. My bad, my bad. <laughs> you have come. And in spite of your father's orders, I respect his feelings. But there are things that I must tell you while there is still time. Ooh, okay. Am I like the chosen one or something? The dinosaur designs on As these are know, actually pretty good. The citadel of Mo was built during the very interesting looking. The Not pretty though. Now he had a Saurian friend named Gra, who knew the Gra. secret of the citadel's construction. Oh, okay. So, okay. One thing I was questioning before you got here, Kiba, is. You, you got, there's this big video uh, that kind of like shows you the world and everything looks like there's like almost no technology and the humans that are around actually ride dinosaurs is like for transportation uh, and everything looked fairly like low tech, like virtually no tech. And then you see the Citadel, uh, which is your home of Mo, Citadel of Mo, and it looks pretty advanced. So I'm not sure if there's, uh, they did allude, there's this guy named Monk who alluded to like lost technology. So I'm assuming that the, the that technology was used to build the Citadel. And it sounds like this guy's kind of talking about it as well. Citadel of Moses. Yeah, where, where's old, where's old Jake at? Uh, let's see what, uh, see what this dude has to say. But when the enslaver, your grandfather came to the throne Gra was hunted down with the others dude that fucking name Gra, it's so good uh no actually that's what i'm kind of uh curious about too so far there has been sentient dinosaurs and something very similar to those uh that are like there's a guard named thug who i couldn't tell if he was like an orc or if he was a dinosaur or what but then there's like normal looking dinosaurs like Brachiosaurus and Brontosaurus and some T-Rexes and stuff. So I'm kind of wondering if it's like uh, like Disney where like, you know, some of the characters are human like and can talk and think and sentient and other uh, dinosaurs are just dinosaurs. I'm not, I'm not sure yet. So we're still figuring out the world here. Gra. The enslaver left him to die deep beneath the citadel in the crypts of abandon. Huh. Okay. You must go to the crypts. My granddaughter will go with you. She knows the way. And she understands those whom you may not. Hmm. Okay. So she gets around with some of the more shadier crowds where me being the goody two-shoes prince i don't really uh get in touch with that kind of riffraff it is true i have the gift of understanding those who speak in strange tongues oh well good so you speak japanese gra is dead but his secret lies with his remains in the crypts of abandon you have come of age adam you must do what your father has never been willing to do. Oh, I should uh, type a uh, good, good night shade. That is definitely some shade being thrown right there by that dude. Before I depart this life, I want to give you this shell. It is an object of power. Bullshit. He probably picked it up while strolling down a beach somewhere. 
He's like, I'm about to die. I'll just play his practical joke on you, Adam. You can call out to me in the Valley of Mists. If it is in my power, shout out to Mists. I will. It is time. The ancestors beckon me. Farewell, my children. Oh, okay. So he is definitely preparing to die, like, immediately. Grandfather Tao will know peace amongst the ancestors. He deeply regretted that your father refused to listen to him. But by your coming here, at least he died contentedly, with hope for the future. Wait, so is she talking about him in the past tense, like he just literally killed over dead right now? I'm a little confused with that. <laughs> you can ride these dinosaurs, but don't ride these dinosaurs. Yep. All right. Okay, so maybe I can grab the knife now. I grabbed it. Grandfather Tao treasured that knife. It once belonged to Gra himself and bears his mark. She doesn't say Gra with the gravitas of the other guy. It's like, come on, lady. Let's uh, That's the proof. put some enthusiasm like in it. Your ancestor, the architect, you are a builder of citadels. Oh, okay. That's all the proof you need. Wonderful. Uh, okay, cool. I'm going to... Because I'm not sure if there's any fail states in this game. I'm going to kind of save scum it up a little bit. Oops. I'm going to save scum it up a little bit just to uh, make sure that I don't lose a bunch of progress for, you know, no reason whatsoever. I'm honestly not sure how that's supposed to work but we will save you scenario one now saved awesome <laughs> right keeper <laughs> that's that seems about right uh okay so let's see where we can go here man i do wish i had that mouse already I think I'll get it by Friday, I want to say. That'll be real handy. I've even got like a nice little lap desk that I can use for it as well. So I can put like my keyboard and the mouse there and everything. So that'll be nice. Hey, what's going on, Taylor? You, uh, you've been talking to Riot Support lately? I hear they've been fairly helpful with your, uh, your issues. Right, Kiba. <laughs> okay, so I'm not super sure where to go now. Um, let's, uh, I guess, go back to the Citadel and see what happens. I'm wondering if my father now will let me talk... Uh, more sense into him now that I've uh, left to sow, sow my royal oats for a little bit. Yeah, that still is crazy that that guy, I'm pretty sure that he literally just died. She talked about him in the past uh, tense. So, uh, it would have been great if he would have just been like, oh, like in the background as she's talking and then he's like, oh, not dead yet. <laughs> that would have been pretty great. Alright, so I know I can't go anywhere except for back. Right, Blossom? Oh, yeah. Um, anyway, I haven't really been streaming because uh, in the last year or so, I've been trying to get... I've had some back issues, and I've been like trying to make sure that I get into the gym, and I got like you know time in and I was finding out that when I was streaming I was running out of time to be able to do stuff like that so I've kind of scaled things back a little bit oh wow thanks Kiba uh, so I've kind of scaled things back a little bit only streaming when I know I have time uh, I've also had the flu for the last month I got two different variations of that so yeah anyway we're gonna we're gonna go kind of explore things a little bit um, to the left is that dungeon area. Doki Doki Literature Club. That is one that's made the rounds. 
I cannot follow you into that room. Its aura is so evil, steeped in pain and suffering. I have never felt it so strongly. I only wish I had the courage to go with you. Oh, okay. So I can't take her in there. Interesting, she even left the party. I saw at the top of the screen she wasn't there anymore. Yeah, I just know like uh, Doki Doki's been like uh, the the latest like Slender Man on YouTube and even on Twitch, where all the big streamers and YouTubers all play it. And I don't know if it's any good or not. It might be. Uh, this dude didn't have really anything coherent to say last time, so we'll try him again. <laughs> That's actually what I sound like before I have coffee in the morning. So. I don't think there's anything else I can interact with in here. Nope. Yeah, right, Kiva. <laughs> Fuck that dungeon. So you've seen him. It's a shame he can't speak. He'd have much to tell you. Huh, okay. So she knows about, wait, is she talking about the guy who just did the yuka yuka or is he, is she talking about somebody else? That's interesting. I wonder when I need to use these items. I know I can pick them up and sort of point them at people. Um, that takes me back to where I was and this takes me in uh, to the king's throne room. We'll go see the king first. Uh, it's actually a, Blossom, uh, before you got here, we were kind of discussing that um, the dinosaurs, it's kind of it seems like it's kind of a Disney situation where there is some dinosaurs that are very human like and can speak. Um, and then there's other dinosaurs who just look like dinosaurs and humans use them as transportation. So it's kind of one of those deals. <laughs> right, Kiba, she flat out refused um, to go in, but she knows what's up. All right, so Eloy is back in here, and here's the king. Let's see if the king has anything else to say. See if he's pissed off at me for leaving or even knows. You are my only surviving child, the heir to the throne of Masha. Your duty is here in Mo. Forget your dreams of exploring the world. All right, we'll let that play for the new people here, but that's what he said last time as well. Um, Eloy might say something new. I see that you found Dina. Dino no mounts. <laughs> yes, I did find Dina. I've been telling the king of my travels. She's a sociopath. And also precognitive. Okay, well, thank you for telling me, <laughs> Eloy. Uh Alright, so down here is where the monk's at. Let's see what the monk has to say now that I've uh, left. Uh, so far, he's changed up what he says every time I do something different. But I'm still curious what this paper here is for. Oh. Dina's cool monk, Mom. apparently. You're looking well. Dina, it's too long since I saw you last. I heard your grandfather was ill. I hope he is recovering. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say he's recovered, Monk. Grandfather Tao's spirit has traveled to the Valley of Mists. Adam and I were with him when he died. Oh, so that did happen. Okay. Wow. Yeah, okay. So I was sitting here making fun of it the whole time, but still wasn't completely convinced or sure. And yeah, confirmed. He died right after giving us that message. <laughs> He's definitely not sick anymore, that's right. Oh, I'm very sorry to hear that. We all respected him. Huh, okay. Uh, maybe if I talk to him again? I do, do notice if you talk to people twice, they usually change up what they say. I long to see the world. You have your mother's driving ambition in your heart. But you must remember, 
Our enemies are everywhere, and we lack the means to drive them back. Oh, for the new people who just showed up, uh, your mother and your sister was killed not too terribly long ago, and that's why your father, the king, is not allowing you to leave uh, because there's this guy, uh, this uh, Morkor Rex or something like that. I messed up the name. Anyway, he's on, on the war path basically. So your dad's being all super protective and keeping you at the uh, Citadel of Mo. So that's kind of the story there. And let's see if this thing does anything for us now. <laughs> no, they didn't. They did not die having a casual conversation with me. This curious tablet was taken from Wukong, the captured Tyrion general, who's roaring... Okay, we've already seen that. Uh, let's see. Let's check. Let's check this dude again. Then we can go back to, like, the big throne area where Thug is. And then there's also one way I guess I didn't go. Here are your ancestors, embalmed for eternity, and here they will all remain until the citadel crumbles to dust or is captured by Tyran. Hmm. Here are your... Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, how do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. We just got to go back. <laughs> right? Uh, okay, so there's nothing in here. Um, let's go back in uh, let's go back in my room and see if there's anything in here. Maybe Eloy's in here to talk to me again, being a fucking creepy stalker. Okay, he's he's missing. He's not here. I'm pretty sure there is nothing in here to interact with, so we'll kind of make our way back, I guess, since there aren't so many options right now. We'll, we'll go in here again. I, I can't. Yeah, yeah, we know, we know. I kind of want to see that this has to have something to do with the story. I feel like. Really? <laughs> uh, all right. Huh. Not really sure where to go here. So you've seen him. It's a shame he can't speak. He'd have much to tell you. Yeah, the voice acting isn't terrible, but it's a little uh It's definitely interesting. You know, I'm curious. Can I do anything with these? Like, can I use this on like is this how this works see the man with see no tongue oh. the man with no tongue give the talisman to Dina if she says she is afraid oh this is a hint thing oh that could be handy okay so this talisman that the first thing I got was this thing Give that to her. <laughs> yeah, right? We solving shit. Look at me. I'm a fucking Miss Pro. All right, so give her the, the talisman. I feel brave enough to go into the executioner's chamber now. Shall we go? <laughs> yes, we shall, Dina. Let's fucking go. 
All right, so let's get out of here. And uh, so the executioner, we gotta we gotta do something here. She can probably actually uh, translate. I was uh, you know making a joke about translating him and somebody being on the planet that probably could translate him. Well, apparently somebody in the game can. <laughs> keep keep it. We 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 don't we don't really want to question things like that. Let's 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 not bring logic into the game here. Even though it's like, you know, supposedly logic based puzzle solving is the core of the game. Uh Alright. Let's see what the executioner here has to say. I understood that perfectly because I'm wearing the talisman. I can explain what Jabber the Executioner says. Jabber? When he was no more than a boy, his tongue was cut out by the Enslaver to silence him. He saw and did terrible deeds. He feels great shame. Aww. So, wait. He... Saw and did terrible sh deeds. Has, feels great shame, but his job title is an Executioner? What? He is giving you a gift on this day of your coming of age. Oh, well, random. What is that? Is that a bone piece of bone or a tooth or something? What is it? What does it say? I give it to him. Hey, take this back. You want this, buddy? No. <laughs> I bet you that translates to no. Alright, so we don't use that. Um, oops, excellent. went to... This is pretty much a one-button game. <laughs> yeah right all right so that tooth let's go back to the monk and see if we can maybe show him the tooth and he can maybe uh tell us what's going on perhaps so monk it is Man, the video quality in this is really good. Chris's CDI that I got uh, also has a, what is it, an FMV uh, digital decoder, which uh, lets you play like a video CDs from back then, which is like pre-DVD stuff. And uh, it's fairly good quality. Way better than like something like um, the PS1 could produce or the Sega CD um, or the Saturn. Saturn actually has a similar decoder you can put in, but it's like super expensive and like two games use it, so I'm never going to buy it. Anyway, let's see what old Monk has to say. I know you long to see the world. You nope. Um, how about the tooth? Is this going to do anything? An old tooth. Very old. Yes. Whoever lost it most certainly has no further use for it. Err. <laughs> Man, that tooth. You, you really need to go to a dentist, buddy. I mean, look at that thing. It's it's even, like, pointed out, like, the wrong way. Like, yeah, genetics kind of fucked you, uh, monk. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, okay, so was that a hint? No further use for it. This guy wouldn't have much further use for it. Let's see what happens with the piece of paper here. Can I use it on that? Oh, I can't. Can I use it on you? Can't. Let's, uh... Let's see what happens when I do... The reason why I was thinking about this is this dude was totally missing this when uh, I saw it earlier, so... We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Hey, Nima! Um, hello? Welcome, dude. Nima, we are playing on the Philips CD Interactive, the greatest video game console that 
ever was brought out in North America and pretty much the rest of the world. And we are playing Lost Eden, which is a mist-like game. And uh, so far, it's actually been pretty entertaining. Nima probably has you on. Oh, that worked! Oh! Fucking nailed it! Oh, that makes me happy. Uh, do I keep using it? Okay, I can put the tooth away. Can we go forward? Oh, yeah, we're going forward here. Uh, oh, hey, Dina, what do you got to say? Listen to old Morcom bellowing at him. Thanks, Remember Nima. How frightened you were as a child. Okay, so this Morcon guy, uh, that piece of paper that was uh, with Monk on the left is his tablet. Uh, it looked like a piece of paper, but it's a tablet. And apparently Monk has been studying it for years, but hasn't gotten anything out of it. And kind of the, the gist of the backstory that I'm getting right now is that this civilization used to have kind of high technology, which is how they built the Citadel of Mo, which we're in right now. However, all that technology and knowledge was lost, and they're trying to find it again uh, to help with the, the rampaging Rex guy that's uh, kind of stomping out the rest of civilization. So, I guess talking old Morkong here, hopefully it turns out good. Maybe I get to threaten him with a knife. That'd be cool. Uh, remember how frightened you were as a child? Wait, does she know me? Because it didn't seem like she knew me before I just met her when I went outside. Did someone pay you to get rid of their CD? <laughs> Nima, actually, uh, guys, this is Fargan Noob's childhood CDI. His father hated him so much that he bought Fargan a CDI to play as a child. <laughs> and um, I bought his CDI, got it restored. The, the, D or the CD drive was broken. Um, the timekeeper, which holds your saves, uh, dates, and the, the CDI won't even boot up without it, uh, that needed to be replaced. That's all now replaced and actually has a replaceable battery in it now, so it's super easy to fix in the future. And, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice setup. Right, Kiva? I mean, if you really hate somebody, you'd buy them CDI. So far, I've had a ball with it. Um, I played the uh, the the Legend of Zelda game, uh, Faces of Evil, and it's terrible, but it's not so unplayably terrible that it's not worth playing. It's just kind of it's interesting. Anyway, let's uh, let's move on with the game here. Okay, so we're going into where Morkong has been roaring and bellowing for quite some time, apparently keeping everybody up uh, in the middle of the night, according to Monk. You know, I'm not sure that's a great design right there. It seems like it'd be kind of difficult to, uh, do I go out here? It's like I can go out. Do I have any sort of interactivity stuff? Okay, no, I don't, so. Oh. I don't know, I Dina. cannot enter this place. Even with the talisman, there are terrors inside, which I cannot face. You are a raging vag, Dina. God. Oh, Kiva, you had a Turbo Graphics. Um, Marcy during the uh, next Retro Night, which might be this Saturday, is definitely going to have a Turbo Graphics emulator. In fact, she had it set up last time. She just didn't put it on the spreadsheet or anything. Uh, so she'll have every Turbo Graphics and PC Engine game available to play. Uh, also Neo Geo and possibly some of the CD-based systems. I'm going to start sending her some images. Uh, for some of those systems and keep a spreadsheet of what people can pick from um, because she doesn't have like easy access to like you know a million games but she'll have access to some of the really good ones yeah fuck yeah Kiva right Neo Geo dude this Neo Geo I have I have the Neo Geo and uh, a Neo Geo uh, SD flash cart man it is it's so damn cool to finally own one 
Oh, Magician Lord, fuck that game. Okay, so we have a skeleton here. Uh, we can't go left. Can't go forward. Can't go right. You go backwards, of course. Well, let's go towards the skeleton. Let's see what happens. Anything with the skeleton? Maybe the tooth again? It does look like he's missing one. Can I do something here? Um... Hmm. Maybe I try stuff. Sorry, I was looking at a text message. <laughs> the two. Oh, what did that do? Um, hello? What is this? That tooth is just super fucking handy. Uh, anything else? No? All right, let's move on forward. Yeah, my embalmed ancestor, my bombed out ancestor, fucking high as a kite. Wait, is that like a... Is that like a dinosaur playing a Vesuvul... Vesuvulavula? Whatever the fuck those things are, those giant horns. The trumpet was grandfather's idea. Oh, it's just a trumpet. Mokar My bad. makes sounds like that. When he died, Tar replaced him with an iguana who blows the trumpet to frighten intruders away. It sounds like Murkong is still alive. Oh, so it was a ruse the whole time. So Morkong is dead and not a threat, and they're using it as a, a security system or a deterrent. Interesting. Yeah, Nima Vuvezula. Yeah, I don't. I have no clue. If I heard it, I'd know it. I suppose Tao was afraid that someone might discover the way into Gra's cell and destroy the secrets he left behind. Okay. I followed you here, Adam. You had to pass the test of courage alone, without your talisman. And so, I had to pretend to be afraid. Okay, so she wasn't a total raging wiener and actually had a reason for being like saying she was so fearful. Then give me back my damn talisman, lady. I might need that. I might get scared. All right. So, ooh, what's this? Those are the remains of Murkong, the tyrant general, captured by your father years before you were born, Adam. Yes, in those days, he fought the tyrant raiders. And now he just sits on his throne, bitching 24-7 and telling me not to leave home. What an asshole. But when he took Jelana as his queen, and your sister was born, he grew afraid for their safety. And since their deaths, he has lost all hope of victory. Huh. You'd think it, their deaths would actually kind of fuel his rage. Guess not. And Morcus Rex has grown bolder with the years. His hunting parties have become invasions. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, what's this little guy? <gasps> I can grab it. What does this do? I have already seen that prison. Grandfather said it could be used to see beyond the surface of things. Oh, okay. <gasps> I wonder if I use this on the that tablet in Monk's room. So far, everything sort of kind of pieced together. You get it, and then you can immediately use it on something obvious. First window, but I don't know what he meant by that. Tao said the prison could open the first window. First window? Uh, we haven't seen any windows outside of the one that we took to get in here that was past the little hands. 
<laughs> right? You gave away the courage talisman to some shitty lying dinosaur. Yep, that's exactly what happened. So can I talk to this bro? Okay, so I put that in my inventory. Can I can I talk to him? I want him to blow on this thing. I want to hear what uh this guy sounds like. Uh can I Is there anything in here? Oh hey, is that a torch? Man, you really gotta search around quite a little bit. Oh, look at that. Look at the CDI being all like graphically superior to everything else on the planet. I don't even know if uh, PS4 Pro or Xbox One X can do any of this. All right, so you guys getting all this? I totally am. Wow, this thing just kind of keeps going on. Wait, what is this? Is he... Did that dinosaur bite off that dude's arm and it's like shooting out blood or... Is that magic? What the fuck is that? That's kind of interesting. It's like they're building like a little fire here or something. So let's kind of go. Some of this stuff could be interesting. So let me kind of go left to right and see if we can find stuff. Uh, that doesn't look like much. We just have traveling dinosaurs here. And uh, that looks like a mountain range in the background, maybe. Uh, we got a Stegosaurus, some more Brontosauruses. Uh, looks like another Brontosaur drinking out of something. Not sure what these markings are. That looks like a volcano of some kind. Um, that thing definitely has, it looks like it's carrying, look at that. That looks like it's carrying blocks or something. Like maybe they're, uh, they're making, uh, something. Oh, and this thing's, uh, I can't remember what these are called, but it's pulling a cart. It's kind of neat. Uh, wow, okay, that looks like a T-Rex. Very pissed off at something. And another T-Rex pissed off at something. Or it looks like it's maybe being shot? Uh, I don't know what this is. It looks like maybe a gateway or something. There's a bunch of skulls around it and as we know skulls never are a good thing there's what appears to be the sun and that's either a gargoyle or it's eloy a pterodactyl or something and we have another t-rex being a t-rex and this is kind of yeah stegosaurus versus t-rex i'm not sure what's going on in this this is kind of cool let me uh let me see if i can use the oh I couldn't use any of my stuff on it. Let me see if I can use this on this. Nope, can't. Let me get caught up on chat here. Mountable bar <laughs> these mountable di <laughs> That's like your uh your number one question for this game. It's like which dinosaurs can I ride? This actually looks like a rideable dinosaur right here. The guy whose whole job is to blow in this horn. 24-7 to deter enemies to the Citadel of Mo. Uh, but is he rideable? It's like, yo, dude, can I ride you? All right, so nothing else going on here. So let's go back. Uh, that prism thing, I think everything seems to be kind of revolving around Monk a little bit. So. Wait, Adam. There are more frescoes to your right. Oh, okay. More frescoes to my right? Do I use this guy maybe? Oh, oops. Excellent. I went to my kind of, I call that the inventory screen. This thing doesn't seem to do a damn thing. To my right. I've already looked at all those. Of the remains of <laughs> Kong, <laughs> the tyrant general captured by your yeah we already uh we already heard that out of you lying lady but when he took Jelana yes we we've already got your exposition dump and Morcus Rex has yep he's now threatening the citadel I get it 
Wait, Adam. There are more frescoes to your right. I'm confused. Is there something here that I'm supposed to see specifically? Oh! These are the frescoes your father I can actually click on these things. Look, I'm dumb. One shows dinosaurs building a citadel for humans. They built many. The tyrant had good cause to fear us. See, here I was actually going through and analyzing all this on my own when all I had to do was actually click a button. <sighs> The secret of Gra is here, Adam. He and your ancestor, the architect, realized that strength lay in combining our forces. Also, her right uh, was actually on the left. Whoa. Together, humans and dinosaurs could and did stand up to the might of the Tyran. All right, so there was a war going on here, and humans and dinosaurs obviously are on the same side. The dinosaurs needed to eat while they built the citadels. So while they worked, the humans farmed the land and grew food for the builders. Ah, okay. So I was kind of correct in my, uh, uh, my analysis in that they were building and apparently they are feeding the dinosaurs, a.k.a. the builders. The building could not have been completed without humans and dinosaurs working together as equals. Okay. Once the citadel had been built, <laughs> men were able to defend themselves and the dinosaurs against the invaders. Our races were strong, Adam. It wouldn't surprise me if they kind of turned it like that. They had no fear of tyrants. They pushed the enemy back into the barren north, where they stayed for many years. Think of it. The Tyran were too afraid to attack. Huh. And what made it all possible was the unity of our races. That is the secret, Adam. That is the legacy of Gra and your great ancestor, the architect. Nima, I don't think you were here for uh, her her father or... Yeah, it was her father. Uh, right as he died and gave us his last message, he would say Gra, but he did it like really coolly. It said Gra. And he said Gra every time. And it just sounded so cool. And she doesn't say it that way, sadly. Yeah, they got a, they got a lot of stuff now like that, Kiba. A lot of uh, pun-ish alliterations. I think is the word for it. They had achieved because he hated all dinosaurs and most of the humans too. Oh, okay. The enslaver is your granddad, huh? And apparently he is. Not just a racist and xenophobe and, I guess, dinosaurophobe, but he also just hates all humans. <laughs> it sounds like a, like a stand-up gentleman. The citadels were torn down. The trust between humans and dinosaurs was trampled in the dirt. And now, the Tyran are back. Huh. Okay, so apparently the Citadel of Mo must be the last one left standing, which your father is the king of. And the grandfather wanted it torn down? father is a good man, but he no longer believes they can be defeated. He's wrong, Adam. They can be. Okay, so I think she is clairvoyant. For certain. Now that you've learned the architect's secrets, I can give you his flute. You must use it to build citadels. Oh, we can build some uh, citadels? Fuck yeah, let's do that. Ooh, that transition. Eloy. And so Adam learned the great secret. He now knew what must be done. Men and dinosaurs had to learn to trust each other and work together to free the land from the tyranny of Marcus Rex. 
<laughs> that random narration. <laughs> the game director's like, let's just shoot it off to the bird and let him just sort of keep narrating, even though it doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's, they've not done that yet in this game, so that's, uh, that's a little weird. All right, so we've got whatever the hell this thing is now, it looks like. So, uh... I don't think it actually tells us what stuff is when we click on it or anything. So, anyway, I think we need to go back to Monk here. Yeah, build citadels with... Uh, oh, wait, we already went back to Monk. Okay. Adam has found an interesting prison, Monk. I remember my grandfather often spoke of it. Is that the dead one? Yeah, we have to reunite humans and the dinosaur, even though it looks like they're perfectly united as it is. He wants to see it, so let's see what happens. Another mystery. I wonder if it can be used to see what is hidden. Hmm, I wonder what is right next to him that is uh, maybe hidden. Hmm. Yeah, so far there really hasn't been any puzzles. It's mostly just been like, figure out where to use the item. It might change. I mean, this is still like, what, not even an hour into the game? So, who knows? I'd be down with just kind of like a fairly easy sort of go through the game and have uh, just a story. Oh, wait, we got... Oh, okay. I'll shut up. Oh, it's Marcus it's Rex. Look well, human. Look. Yes. And no fear. Apparently, it's this world's version you of a cell phone. We're on Skype. Oh, walls will not save your life. Nothing lives if I say it shall die. Ooh. Already my warbands march and shed blood. Soon your brittle. Yeah, but he didn't say it's not his warband shedding blood. Hello? <laughs> that dude is basically Reaper. Hey, what's up, Kilmer? Welcome. We're playing a little Lost Eden tonight on the CDI. Marcus Rex, I felt his thirst for killing. You have seen <laughs> the enemy, my lord. Take the tablet. You brought it to life. Perhaps you can find some use for it. Okay. Uh, it's a kind of a cool communication device so far. Uh, it's a little scary, though. You achieved what I could not in more than 30 years. You've discovered the secret of Mukong's tablet. It is a sort of window. Oh, okay. Kind of like we're using to play this game, you right, Monk? Keep it, Adam. You already told me I could have it. All right, so we had the tablet in the inventory, even though it doesn't look anything like it. You must talk to the king. Art in this uh, game is a little inconsistent. He must be persuaded that Adam's destiny is to lead us to victory against Marcus Rex. <laughs> yeah, it's an iPad. Uh, I actually missed what she said. Monk, you must talk to the king. He will listen to you. He must be persuaded that Adam's destiny is to lead us to victory against Morcus Rex. Okay, so I need to go talk to the king. What? Well, you know the king's views. How can Prince Adam possibly hope to defeat the Tyran armies? Can't put a CDI emulator on that mirror tag. There are no emulators around here, Kiba. We got nothing but the real thing. And it makes me happy. Men and dinosaurs must stand firm. Otherwise, what hope have we? We need a leader, and Prince Adam has proved himself worthy. Wait, 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 wait. How have I proved myself worthy? All I have done so far, here's the story so far, is I got told off by my father. He told me not to leave. Um, I went and talked 
to a bird that set me up with this chick who took me to her grandfather, who immediately died after talking to us, by the way. And then I've done some random, like, here's a tooth in, like, a couple of different things. And then I took a prism. And I got a flute. But now, apparently, I can be the leader of uh, all of dinosaurs and humankind alike. All right. Would you rather wait for Mocus Rex himself to come and tear down the walls of Mo? Nope. This is des definitely setting you up to be Neo, but the Prince the one. Adam isn't ready. Prince He's Adam never faced the Tyran. He knows nothing of the world outside Mo. Okay, so at least Monk's actually speaking a little truth here. Throwing a little doubt into the equation. And you think he'll learn by hiding inside this citadel? Will you teach him how to wage a war, Monk? No. He must learn for himself in the world outside. That's right. I'm a big boy. He won't be alone. There are many who long to fight for their freedom. The time is now. So... They're kind of making it sound like there's some discontent or people wanting to leave a perfectly good citadel that has so far been, been a safe haven against Morcus Rex and his Tyrans. And, uh, yeah, I guess I haven't seen any of that discontent because I haven't seen any other people. Oh, hey, Monk joined the party. Mm, you nice. may be right, Dina. Maybe it is time we came out of hiding. I am the one. The Tyran have spread too much destruction for too many years, and neither the king nor I have the spirit to face them in war. Huh. So, okay, at least Monk is kind of saying that he's a coward and that the king is a coward, which has kind of been reiterated a few times so far. I killed oh. you before. Oh, well, welcome, Judgmental Skeleton, to the stream. <laughs> and yes, uh, I am a big boy. Uh, we are playing Lost Eden tonight, and so far, you have been told that you can't do anything, but we are, we're a rebel, and we are going against what our father, the king, has told us to do, and did some random things, and now apparently we are going to unite humankind and dinosaur kind, fight another type of dinosaur, and rebuild citadels throughout the world with a flute. That's, uh, <laughs> that's the story so far. Might be a little bit abridged, but that pretty much gives you the gist of everything that's happened. We've been playing for a little over an hour now. Anyway, it looks like we need to go talk to the king. If these True. things are so, then Prince Adam must be allowed to follow his destiny. Very so, well. Let us talk to the king now. Yeah, so far I have exploded at least one skeleton and one sort of embalmed uh, skeleton. Uh with a tooth, with a magical tooth. So watch yourself, Judgmental Skeleton. I still have it in my inventory. Oh wait, no, never mind. You are safe. The the tooth is gone. All right. So Monk wants us to go talk to the king, and uh, we picked up the tablet here. That's what this guy is, and I'm not sure what we're gonna do with the tablet yet. And uh, let's just move on. Uh, the ki let's let's go in my room and see if maybe uh, Aloy is here to talk to again, or if there's anything else to interact with, perchance. Uh, doesn't seem like it. Damn music loading! It makes the the cursor pause every time. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> You heard the uh, the death song of your people and had to instantly rush to my channel to, I don't know, get, get vengeance for the injustice done to skeletons with teeth. <laughs> Crimes are too grave as we're talking about skeletons. Man, if that was an unintentional pun, that was awesome.
Oh, alloy. Adam, Dina, and old monk went to the throne room. As Gregor's trusted advisor, Monk did his best to persuade the king. Oh, okay, so that was his narration again. The, the game keeps pulling away to have Alloy here narrate for some reason. Well, well, old friend, you astound me for you of all people to expound such wild ideas. Building citadels, rallying the dinosaurs and men together. Foolish dreams. Okay, so he's still being kind of a crotchety dick. You know, for a father, like, I am uh, just come of age, which means I could be anywhere between, like, 14 and, like, 22. Uh, and this guy looks like he's in his goddamn 80s. So, yeah. Yeah. Talk some Your sense Majesty, into a monk. We are both men of peace, and we are old. <laughs> it kind of does Prince look like Adam a TV in our game. Dina are young, facing a lifetime without hope. This company who made this game went to Deviant Art back in the '90s and just like stole somebody's like entire portfolio and made a whole game and story around it. What gives us the right to condemn them and the rest of the world to extinction at the hands of Marcus Rex? Okay, throwing in some ethics, some moral questioning. It is surely better to die as free men than to live as slaves at the mercy of the tyrant. That's right. There's a pep talk that we needed. Well, monk, you surprise me. I never thought I'd hear you argue for war. But you argue forcefully, old friend, and your counsel is wise. Okay, so your father's kind of coming around a little bit, even though he still looks like the biggest dick ever. You seem familiar. Ain't I killed you before? Eli Naomi, welcome. Thanks for joining in on the stream here. We've had a pretty good time with Lost Eden on the CDI. It's actually been fairly entertaining. Uh, maybe I have closed my eyes for too long, knowing this day might come. Okay, sweet. So, okay, the king might actually let me leave the Citadel then, and we can kind of, uh, well, I guess we can kind of get on with our adventure and reunite humankinds and dinosaurs and rebuild the citadels with flutes and uh, have omniscient slash clairvoyant uh, freaky scaredy cat dinosaurs tell us like who's in the next room and things like that <laughs> which would be very confusing to anybody who just came in Adam, and uh, son, doesn't know the story so far news you but all bring just, go, just go with it has opened my eyes <laughs> yes you must take up this great challenge. Oh, now he's fucking on board. Like, he was not on board at all earlier. Yeah, lying. Uh, right, Kilmer? The C this is definitely way better. This is actually fun where the CDI uh, Zelda game was, uh... It was a little taxing. If men are to survive, then you must be allowed to follow your destiny. If we are to be vanquished, then at least we will go down fighting. Yeah! Fuck yeah. There's our fucking Rudy speech right there. Let's go. Morcus Rex is going down. He will succeed, my lord. Here's the, the lying he female dino, by the way. And dinosaurs, there will be hope for us all. She didn't really lie. With new citadels and a common purpose, we are sure to defeat Morcus Rex. Okay, so everybody's basically all, like, on board with this now. Ah, young Dina. With spirits such as yours, success does indeed seem possible. <laughs> Adam? You have my permission to wage this war. Go to Shamar with my blessing. Oh, that's right. I guess she did lie. You're right, Kiva. You're right. 
Okay, so we need to go to Shamar, uh, and I actually have his blessing, so I don't have to, like, sneak out like I have, uh, so far. So, that's cool. If there are any survivors of the Tyrone attack, they will need your help. Thug, my sergeant at arms, will lead a company of my bravest warriors to go with you. See him as you leave. Oh, nice! Thug is like, uh, this orc looking dude. I can't tell if he's actually supposed to be part dinosaur or not, uh, but he looks and kind of sounds like your stereotypical dumb orc. So, uh, we'll see how that, uh, turns out. I too will come, Prince Adam. I know the way to Shamar, and I would be honored to serve as your guide and messenger. I can fly on to scout the way ahead. A great day has dawned. I was just about to say, if this was actually a real life party in which you were wanting to leave, that guy would be the one of the most invaluable people in the party because he could just go up in the air and scout and then come down and be like, hey, people are coming. Let's go hide. So that's good. Ah, Prince Adam, we had forgotten what it was to feel hope until this day. I almost wish I could travel with you, but my place is here at your father's side. Oh, okay. So he got everybody pepped up. He's like, yeah, go to war. Take down Morcus Rex. Unite everybody. By the way, I'm going to sit here in the, uh, the safe castle. And uh, yeah, you guys just go take care of that. <laughs> uh yeah see the art style goes from like being that kind of crazy thing like that's like super hyper detailed to this where you don't really know what's going on but we're going to talk to him again because sometimes they say different things until today we had <laughs> there you go nema smart it was to feel all right so we already heard him say that let's see if the king repeats what he just told us Spirits such as Dina's victory even seems possible. Yet you will need companions, Adam. A company of my bravest warriors will go with you. Okay, so he just basically retold what he just told me, but uh, didn't include didn't include the orc's name. All right, so we need to go back and talk to Thug then. Yeah, uh, Judgmental Skeleton. I have actually never played a uh, Mist, uh, despite being around and knowing about Mist since, you know, since it came out. I had never played it or any game like it, so this is kind of my, my first time with the genre. And uh, it's been enjoyable so far. It's been very story-driven and less puzzle-driven. Uh, which, to be honest, I kind of like that. I'm not a big fan of, like, uh, puzzles that take 10 years to solve but those might come all right so this is thug we'll talk to thug here and see what happens oh it looks like he joined the party according to the top top thing thug come with adam king's orders yeah he very much follows uh the king's orders he uh, repeats that over and over again Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, uh, I might have to try out Mist. Like, if I do end up enjoying this, I might have to try out Mist. And I have heard that uh, Abduction is a pretty good game uh, that's very much, you know, a spiritual successor, like you said, to Mist. I've got a buddy of mine who's actually really loves that stuff. Yo, yo, Thug Thuggy Fresh. All right, so Thug's in the party now. Um, I guess that means I can probably leave through this door. Can I can I talk to this guy? No, I can't talk to this guy. So we're gonna go out the door here. Right, Nemo? We live in we live in that thug life. Yeah, Kiba. Uh hold on here. I need to turn that off. I uh Need to go into night bot settings and turn that off and just let people post links because, you know, I don't really get any bots here. And if I did, well, what do we got? Earl Sneed, Sinclair Jeff. Oh, <laughs> that's from the t old TV show Dinosaurs. Oh, that's awesome. Nice. Yep, he's thug. 
All right, so let's uh, check around the scenery here, see if there's anything we can interact with. Uh, no, so far it's basically just go forth. Let's do it. Oh, hey, wait. That pulled me back into here? We don't want that. Oh, hey, Bacchus, welcome. Uh, not sure. Sometimes Twitch can be a little interesting. Okay, so... Did I accidentally leave? Oh, okay. So I went through the door on the left here, and then this goes to nothing, and then I have another place I can... This is... <laughs> this scene is... It's drawn a little weird. We'll just kind of go with it. Okay. Show me where you want to go. I want to go to Shamar, Eloy. Let's go to Shamar. Let's go. Let's do it, buddy. Go scouting for us. Make sure we don't get a uh, go get caught by uh, Morcus Rex and his uh, band and of so Tyrans. Was that I guided Adam and his valiant band north towards the Valley of Shamar. And back to that weird narration. You seem familiar. And I killed you before. Oh, Bacchus. Not even following. Wow. Actually, Bacchus, I'm pretty sure you were following. I'm not sure how you were not following. You've usually been to almost every one of my streams. Interesting. Maybe you have some sort of auto-purging program. <laughs> I haven't streamed for uh, a few weeks, so this maybe it was something like that. This is the Valley of Shamar, Prince Adam, and this is Mongol, a friend. With your permission, I will take my leave of you now. Wait, no, you're our scout. You have to stay with us. Also, I'm pretty sure there was supposed to be a bunch of people that came with Thug, but I only have Thug in the party. Prince Adam of Mo, greetings. Um. Okay, so that headpiece. That looks like it's a piece of bone, right? How is his lips moving if that is bone? Hmm. This is Mungo, Adam. He and I are mated. <laughs> right, Bacchus, right. Oh, <laughs> this is Mungo. He's the guy I'm fucking, and I'm lying to him too. Dina has told it's gonna me of your quest. My nipples off. I will join you, Prince Adam, if you wish it. I have waited patiently for the chance. I can't unsee or hear that now. Damn it. Uh, sorry, I missed what they said. I talked over it. My apologies. Uh, uh, Dina has told me of your quest. I will join you, Prince Adam, if you wish it. I have waited patiently for the chance to oppose Marcus Rex. Okay, so he's kind of a badass. Mungo has traveled much and knows the ways of dinosaurs and humans. Okay, so he's well traveled. So we basically lost a guide that could have seen trouble coming from like literally miles away and gained another kind of guide. Not as useful, but he might be kind of a badass in a in a scrap. Alright, so looks like we can look around. Uh, a few different places so let's let's go here we've got the little eyeball icon let's see what uh let's see what one of these guys had to say uh wait do we want to go here that's to the right can we go up we can go forward we can't we can go to the left as well we'll just go left since we're already at the Whoa. Where's it? Oh. Found a bunch of dinos. Hello? I feel like their 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 heads and their necks are moving a little too quickly. Um you know, I'm kind of freaking out here a little bit uh with the progress, and I'm still not sure if this game has like instant fail states or deaths. So we're going to save it real quick. Make sure that we don't lose any kind of progress. And I'm uh, actually we're going to we're going to save this in slot two just in case I'm already in a fail state. All right, there we go. 
What is this down here? Last dialogue. Oh. Oh, that's kind of neat. So if you just like, if you want to hear recent dialogue, you can check it out there. That's nice. Prince Adam is half dinosaur fucking <laughs> call. <laughs> All right. Wow, we got a lot of people in our party now. I want to exit the screen though. Uh, Nima, I don't have any of those cool things. No neat check in here, sadly. Oh, there's a there's a map in the top right. You guys see that? I'm on the uh, furthest to the left so far. Mm -hmm. I wonder if what's her face can translate for me. Or These monk ass here. Parasaurus. They are tireless transporters. They can take you to the farthest corners of the world. Oh, sweet. So they're basically like giant taxis. Fantastic. They'll gladly transport us when a citadel has been built here in the valley. <laughs> but, <laughs> but until you build this giant citadel that we have no clue how to build, by the way, except for the fact that you have a flute, you know, they'll, 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 they'll transport you after you do all that. What, what nice guys. So these are your dinosaurs you can use to move around. So, okay. Anyway, uh, we're, the, we shouldn't be able to go to the left anymore if that map is correct. Here's the map, it looks like. And uh, can I click on this? Is it going to show it to me? Oh, nice. So I can do that. So that'll be over to our media right. We can go this way. Uh, we're probably too far over, I think. I want to, uh, kind of go from left to right. Ooh. Oh, thug happy now. <laughs> Fine apple. <laughs> nice. I guess old thug was a little hungry already. Huh. I wonder if we're going to need to use that apple for something here soon. Yeah, some of the dinosaurs are people and some are not half flute will build citadel Bacchus that's pretty much what they told us oh we found some more dinosaurs okay well done us You know, I can't unsee it, but every time I see these dinosaurs, they just look like penises. Like, they look like Euro dongs, just flying in the wind, pretty much. <laughs> that didn't sound good. The Brontosaurus is curious to know why we have come. Oh, the brontosaurus that looks like Eurodong wants to know why we have come. <sighs> come on, I clicked the button. I think I did. Uh, can we talk? Oh, no, no, no I don't want to go that way. I want to talk to him again. Let me, uh, let me go back over here. So it looks like uh, little dots on the map there are points of interest, perhaps. So that's kind of cool. The game keeps track of that. Let's see if we can skip past this. Hey, let's uh, let's try to feed him an apple. Come on. He doesn't want it. Oh. Okay. Fine then. The survivors of Shamar, though they are few, are at the mercy of the tyrant. They huddle in fear with nowhere left to hide. Huh. Now, I wonder if he's talking about these dinosaurs, uh, or if he's talking about humans that live in the area. 
I'm still confused on how you all of that must works out. Men and dinosaurs to build and defend a citadel. United, they can defy the enemy. Or maybe it's both. From the sounds of that sentence, it's probably both. Feed him the knife. <laughs> I'm not sure if I want to do that. Maybe I can play him a uh, play him a tune. The, the penis will play the flute. <laughs> the penis is going to play the skin flute. Yes. Uh. Okay, they got a fucking second grader to play that. They say they see no sign of friendship in you. What? I just played him a flute and I gave him an apple. Like, how is that not friendship worthy? Yeah, I guess it did sound like a recorder, didn't it? I'm not very musically inclined, so don't judge me. Alright, so can I go anywhere in here or sl Oh, hey, look, there's something up here to view. Is it a nest? It looks like a nest. It is a nest. <gasps> I wonder if we can steal an egg. Uh, we probably shouldn't steal an egg, but I kind of want to use a knife on an egg. Can I... I don't know if I should steal this. <gasps> oh, no. Should I... Should I take it? I don't know guys, I'm I'm conflicted. Uh fuck it. We we're we're, ta <laughs> we're gonna take it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna save scum here. Because I am not super I'm I'm not super like I'm I'm actually a little concerned. We'll we'll save that in slot three here. All right. Want to make sure we don't end and immediately die to some pissed off pterodactyl mom. Yeah, I was expecting like I'd take like one egg, you know, maybe make some breakfast or something like that. But nope, you take the whole goddamn thing. Okay, see the map up here, each individual section is a place you can travel to. So I should be able to go to the left here, but I can't go up anymore. Yep, correct. All right, so we just kind of need to do some exploring, it seems like. And uh, game pause a little bit because music is resetting. Ooh, what is that? Oh, it was just me. <sighs> that takes a little while to show up. That animation is not the best idea in the world. Yeah, yeah, I already know these guys. I already know these guys. Let's go all the way back. We'll just kind of cover the whole area like it's a grid. Yo! What is this? This is like uh, some monkey men. What's going on here? Why do they all look alike? That does not look like what I just clicked on. Also, so, holy shit, you you're freaky. Are Prince Adam of Mo. My friend Mungo has spoken much of you. Wait, we we literally just showed up and Mungo was with me. So, uh, and he didn't know me before. I just met him like five minutes ago. Come on, bruh. My lord, this is Chong. His people are the Shorians. They have suffered terribly at the hands of Morcus Rex. Oh, okay, so these guys will probably be friendly to me then. The tyrant are merciless. In their last attack, half our people were slaughtered. We must avenge their deaths. <laughs> okay. Mongo Sorry, I had another text message. We can have faith in you. If my people must unite with the dinosaurs to survive, then let it be so. Oh, okay. So he's already ready to unite with the dinosaurs. That's good. 
Then we can use our flute slash recorder to build a citadel. And then we can use the big Brontos to travel wherever the hell we want. That's how that works, right? Okay, so... Huh. Uh, I'm not sure if that's where I wanted to go. What are these? <gasps> I can grab them. <gasps> Mushrooms. Fuck yeah. Okay, so wait, do we have Chong now? Okay, we have Chong now. Now that we have so many people uh, in the party. Wait, you left. Let me talk to you real quick. We have pretty much a full party right now. This the is kind of awesome. Continues, Lord. The tyrant will fall. That's right. Woo! Get out your pom poms, Eloy. Let's see what uh, Lang Dina has to say. Are you scaredy? You will be victorious. Of course. All right. So what is uh, Chongo here? I used to have a cat named Chongo. He's a big kitty. He's thirty we pounds. We defend our fortress, but we cannot build it without the science of the Brontosaurus. Oh, so maybe I want to go take him to the Brontosaurus that we just found, perhaps. Does he want some? Do you want? Do you want some mushrooms? What mushrooms? Take that, Diok. We appreciate your gift. <gasps> what? He he ate the mushroom. Okay. Uh. Neat. We appreciate your gift. Yeah, let me out of here. We appreciate your gift. That's that's cool. Let me out of here. We appreciate your gift. Oh my god. Game please. Do I have to click up here? We appreciate your gift. Why is it not letting me out? Let me out, game. We will defend our fortress, but we cannot build it without the science of the Brontosaurus. Yeah, you already told me that. How do I get out of here? I saw Brontosaurus in the valley. You must find them. Oh, okay. Well, we did already find them, so we're good there. Let's see. I'm going to try to give the apple. Wait, didn't I just give him the apple? Will Thug here eat it? Tune in next week to find out. Thug, Apple, Adam. Wait, what? Mmm, eat it. Eat it, Thug. Oh, Thug, not carry more. Oh, okay. So he doesn't want it. How about eggs? Maybe he'll eat the eggs. Mmm, delicious. Mmm, good. <gasps> he did eat the eggs! Adam take Ness, Thug, not. Oh! Okay, so I have an empty nest now? Wow, okay, so we not only stole... Well, at least we stole and uh, ate all the evidence, so... That, uh, that mama bird can't be pissed at us, right? Right? Uh... Alright, let's, uh, let's try to find those, uh, brontosaurus then. Can I get more mushrooms? Can I take more? I can! That is so interesting. All right, so the brontosaurus, I'm pretty sure, is that second red mark to the top here. We haven't even had to explore very far. We've only explored, uh, what, a third total? We're not even, not even quite a third. So these are the brontosaurus. And now Monkass should, uh... Maybe be able to help us talk some sense into these guys? The Brontosaurus is curious to know why we have come. Okay. Uh... The Brontosaurus is curious to know why we have come.
Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Maybe I just need to explore some more. So we're just going to kind of work our way left to right uh, quickly. Now that we know that we don't really have to. If anybody sees anything on screen that I miss, uh, try to point it out. I am scanning as I go here because it does look like there are things we can pick up. And they're usually pretty obvious. But if I happen to miss them, uh, please speak up. What's this? Is that where... This is where the uh, the nest was, right? Can I get more eggs? Please say this is a refill. Uh, Wait, there's actual... There's a little bro in there. What's going on, little guy? Are you serious? I can... I can't... <laughs> that actually has a dinosaur in it. Wow, I just committed... I just committed Grand Theft Dinosaur. I did not know in my entire life that I would say that phrase, but here we are. I wonder if I can feed him to, to thug. <laughs> All right, so nothing there. This is kind of cool. It gives a kind of a sense of exploration. Probably not the most entertaining thing to do or watch, but at least there's there's kind of something there. I'm kind of curious if this is uh if this is always set up like this or if these scenes are randomly generated because they don't seem to be interconnected, so it could be random. Uh. Uh, well, sadly, my, my mother passed away about eight years ago, so sadly can't ask her that, but yes, that is actually pretty, pretty fun. She would be probably pretty disappointed in me stealing not just the eggs, but an actual dinosaur as well. She was a pretty good person. I like to think she raised a good one, too. Alright, so far we haven't seen shit. Everything was very, very concentrated in the west there. Yo! We found some more... <laughs> roving Eurodongs. <laughs> yep, those are some uncut dongs right there. That's what the other brontosaurus said. The uh the gray dongs. These are the the brown brown dongs. The brontosaurus is curious to know why we have come. Isn't that what you, seriously, that's what you had just said though, dude. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna keep exploring. We might come back to that spot and then maybe try items, perhaps. Uh, cause so far, using items on stuff has worked. We don't really have a clue. We could use, um, this flute, or not flute, this seashell thing here. I think that is, like, something where if you need a hint, you can use it. Uh, cause the one time I used it to see what it did, it did give me a hint what I needed to do next. But we'll, we'll kind of hold off on that for a second. Hey, Kilmer, it's a it's it's a video game. You I did, ah, just because I did it in a video game doesn't mean I do it in real life. I mean, if I saw a nest of dinosaur eggs or a little dinosaur, I would not take it and then immediately feed it to my uh, thuggish orc bodyguard. Probably. <laughs> I actually told a story about uh, throwing eggs that I never did uh, a couple days ago. All right, so far we've not. Ooh, what's what's this? 
We can look at something here. Oh, we can look underwater. Nice. Apparently we can breathe underwater. Right on. Actually, that'd probably be more in line with what I'd want to do, because I actually love the idea and concept of Jurassic Park. I am one of the people where I would not as much question of, should we do that? It should just be like, let's fucking do it, because we can. All right, so we just went snorkeling for a little while. Now, Dina's going to give us her two cents, apparently. The Mosasaurus live in lakes. Sometimes... When you throw an apple into the water, you'll get one to come. Apples are a rare and precious delicacy for them. The Mosasaurus know many things about the tyrant and their ways. Oh, okay. So, what she just said is throw this damn apple in the lake, and we basically get, uh, if you guys know the legend, uh, King Arthur and the Lady in the Lake, well, let's throw an apple and see if we find a lady in the lake and maybe she gives us a cool sword. Or maybe we just get to watch fish again. Oh, there's the apple! It's doing something! I'm so excited. The Mosasaurus live in lakes. Sometimes, when you throw an apple into the water, you'll get one to come. Apples are a rare and precious delicacy for them. The Mosasaurus know many things about the tyrant and their ways. All right, she literally just told me that same thing, and I just threw my apple in. Granted, it does say sometimes, so we might have just lost our, our damn apple. God damn it. All right, we're going to look at this one more time, just in case. It wouldn't surprise me if it was some kind of educational game, considering it's on the CDI, which is primarily originally sold as an educational tool. Uh, but no, this is uh, this was really this was also released on the uh, the 3DO and uh, for PC and DOS. Yeah, we already know the Mosasaurus can sometimes come up and tell us cool stories. God damn it! Well, that sucks. I lost my apple. So apparently if I ever uh, get an apple again, I need to bring it back. Where did I get that apple in the first place? Fuck. Does anybody remember uh, Kiba? Do you happen to remember when I got that apple? We're going to finish exploring the last few pieces of area here. And we're going to go back to the Brontosaurus. And uh, see if we can't use uh, some of the things that we've gained recently. So, wisdom in this game is if you recently acquired an item, use it somewhere near on something else. And it tends to work. Oh, I wonder if I was supposed to use the apple here. Because this is a little different area. Hey, turtles. My kitty just came to say hi. Oh, hi. What are you doing, kitty? Huh? What are you doing? Oh, I was paying attention to my cat and there looked like there was a, uh, whatever those uh, things were. Could this be our lucky break chat? The Mosasaurus live in lakes. Sometimes, Okay, so I totally threw my apple away that I could have thrown here. I, 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 I threw it over here when I should have thrown it here. So I'm actually going to make a note of that in my notebook. I can't decide she wants to stand on my notebook. Take a picture of this screen and then we'll come back here if I ever get an apple again because 
This may or may not play into the story, but most likely it will. So there we go. Boom. Combination of and uh, new school uh, taking pictures with your phone. So anyway, we're going to go back up north here to the Brontosaurus. Uh, later, Kilmer. Have a good dinner, man. <laughs> no, my kitty's sweet. She's now laying down all sweet-like on my, uh, my table in front of me, requiring foot pets. All right, so here's the Brontosaurus. We'll skip past all the uh, the dialogue here. Most recent thing we got were these two nests, and I'm not sure if they would appreciate getting pterodactyl nests. And we also got this mushroom. We'll try the we'll try the nest first and see what happens. My stomach made that uh, that noise this morning. I was really hungry when I got up. He doesn't want it. Oh, okay then. We will we'll, we'll put that guy away. We'll also do a save scum real quick, just in case we get put into a fail state. So far, I've seen no evidence this game has fail states where you just immediately you just have to start the game over. But I am uh, I am not taking any chances now saved I am curious how much space these saves take up the old CDI does not have a lot of save space luckily the new timekeeper I put in actually has four times the amount of save storage but it's still only 32 kilobytes and that's not much anyway all right turtles um let's try the mushroom here Let's see what happens. Oh! Somebody's enjoying that. At least I hope that's a sound of enjoyment. If not, the fucker's probably gonna eat us. Did we make friends? These Brontosaurus thank you for your gift of friendship. Yes! They hail you as the bringer of hope, a legendary hero in their lore. <laughs> Wait! Okay, so I basically became the guy who showed like so much initiative because I left for like five minutes, killed a dude by talking to him and coming back that they declared me as being like the savior and the one to bring together all humankind and defeat Morcus Rex and raise up the citadels again. And now I give a brontosaurus a mushroom and I'm now known as the bringer of hope with capital letters, mind you, a legendary hero in their lore. <laughs> It's pretty fantastic. It sounds like I'm kind of hating on this game, but I'm just sort of like, I I'm enjoying it. I definitely am enjoying it. So anyway, can I interact with them a little bit more now? The Brontosaurus is curious to know why we have come. All right, so he enjoyed the mushroom. Uh, this thing will give us a hint. I don't know what this thing does yet, so let's try that. Okay, that's definitely the noise of I don't want that. I wish you could skip. I wish you could skip past these. Uh, let's try the tablet, even though I'm pretty sure the tablet is basically an iPad. So far, I've only been able to communicate with Morcus Rex with it. I'm not going to use the knife on a big brontosaurus. Uh, well, last resort, I will. About well, let's play. Let's play the quote unquote flute and see what happens. Charm and his followers, the Brontosaurus will build a modest citadel in this place. To make a mightier fortress, they will need the skills of the Triceratops. Yes! 
Yeah! All right, fuck yeah. Let's go. Oh, back to the narration of Alloy. And so the very first citadel was Thank built Katie. in the mountains Bro. of Shamar. The Shorians could now defend their valley against the Tyran. Really? They can erect a giant citadel uh, with lost technology that quickly with, obviously, with, with, with giant Euro dongs. Oh, can I talk to this person? What do I do here? I'm not sure. Do I just keep moving around now? What's going on? All right, so the music stopped, so it's loading something. Oh, okay. All right, so the yellow mark signifies some place of importance or significance. So maybe if I go back and talk to the other brontosaurus, maybe play the flute for him or something. Let's see if these other brontosaurus will build something for us. Don't, <laughs> don't bully the dinosaurs. Eh. Yeah, I just play like little recorders for them. All right, let's see if these guys will do something for us. Maybe they'll uh, actually allow us to use them as transportation now. So, they did say that we needed the help of another dinosaur to start with an A, like Apatosaurus or Aper Apertursaurus. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see what happens when... Mm. The Brontosaurus is cute. Uh... Play... Wait, I already did this, I'm pretty sure. So we had the uh, brontosaurus play the old uh, skin flute. Come on. This valley already has a citadel. Oh, okay. So we don't need that anymore. Um, let's see here. Oh. Hello? Oh, hey, Alloy. What's up? There's a valley to the northeast, Those my lord. Shifting it's eyeballs. a place of great strategic value. I suggest you build another citadel there. Oh, okay. So we kind of completed uh, the area. Maybe? Okay. Let's see what he has to say. We must find a Patasaurus to transport us. Yeah, Patasaurus, that's it. We will never reach that valley. All right, so where, where are we going to find them? Prince Adam, you have rekindled our hopes in the Valley of Shamar. Take this gem as a token of our thanks, please. It is a moonstone. It may serve you well one day. Oh. Okay, maybe I can explode some skeletons with this thing since I lost my tooth that does that. Uh, doesn't really look like a gem, Our does it? Will draw it says moon gem. Of dinosaurs to the valley. You will see. I'm sure they really know what, you know, a flute is or a gem is. At least it's vaguely moon shaped, so at least there's that. Wait, what did he just say? Shit. Hold on, we're going to use the, re the... I think he just told us where to go and I completely spaced it out. So we're going to go use the, the recording thing and see how this works anyway. I've been meaning to do this anyway, so... Ah, young Dina. No. With spirits such as yours, success does indeed seem possible. Seriously? Adam, 
You have my permission to wage this war. Go to Shamar with my blessing. What is up with this? Do I have to go all the way to the end and then play it? How does this work? Ah. No, oh, I want to play. Our citadel will draw other races of dinosaurs to the valley. You will see. What do you say right before that? Prince Adam, you have rekindled our hopes in the Valley of Shamar. Take this gem as a token of our thanks. Please. Okay. Our citadel will draw other races of dinosaurs to the valley. You will see. Okay, so... It doesn't really help, apparently. Um, maybe we just need to click around. We're gonna save, save scum here a little bit. Yes. There we go. And, uh, let's see if we can't try to find this, uh, Apatosaurus. Maybe we need to talk to old Monkass here. Mungo, I think his name actually is. Maybe he will, uh... Building has started on the Citadel. Fantastic news. Thanks for letting me know. Uh, how about sh let's let's do this. This worked on you last time. It reminds me of my grandfather Tao. Listen to his advice, Adam. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do. Can I use it on myself? <laughs> well, thanks for the, the affirmation there and the believing that I can do it, buddy. Uh, it's not really the help I was uh, searching for, though. I was thinking on something a little bit more direct. <laughs> uh, maybe this guy. What do you got to say? We need to find a Patosaurus to transport us. If we were to travel on foot, we would be far too slow. Okay. I get that. But where am I supposed to go for a Patasaurus? Maybe I just need to roam around again? Perhaps? Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. There is the, uh... The other dinosaurs, the, uh, the, the, the far west red icon. That's probably the Apatosaurus. Ooh, can we get some more of these? Hello? Yeah. Looks like we can refill uh, stuff that we give away. That's cool. It's good to know. Is there anything up here? No. I bet you this is, uh, these are the guys we need. You know, there's this old dinosaur movie that might have taken place in, or not, might have been uh, released in the 80s or 90s. These are oh. They are tireless transporters. They can take you to the farthest corners of the world. Yes. Let's go. They're honored to transport the builder of citadels. They'll take us wherever you want to go. Fantastic news. Uh, where'd they go? <laughs> uh, game? Hello? Uh, maybe I go north? Nope, go back south. Uh... The red dot is gone now. What is that? Okay. 
We have a little mushroom and a big mushroom. Interesting. Uh, so we lost the Apatosaurus. Do we have to find them again, maybe? Well, let's just roam through. Uh, let's not go north. Because we'll have to go through that animation. I think it's quicker to do this. Yo, we ran into something. Yo! Um. I'm not sure I want to be around here. These guys look like uh, little raptors. Kind of scary raptors. Deformed raptors. <laughs> that don't know how to keep their mouth closed. Uh. What do I do with these guys? Can I talk to them? Monkass, save me. Lord Adam, these are Tyran. Fuck. So should I leave him alone? Can I give him can I give him a mushroom? Hmm, have a mushroom. No, Adam. Oh. Okay, so I can't give him a mushroom. How about we get out of here? No! Oh, I just got bullied. Wait, what just happened? Do I get to start over here? Alas, my story ends here. Adam's magnificent quest came to a brutal end, and all because of his reckless disdain for danger. Ah, what he might have achieved oh, if only he had his thrown away his life and those of his companions. Wow, okay, he just kicked me right in the balls right there. Game over. So, I wonder where this is going to start me. Credits? It even starts the credits? Wow, that's brutal. So... Wow, it starts you literally over from the start of the game? Uh, no. We're gonna load up. Pretty sure we saved not long before that happened. So we're gonna go back. We're gonna load game save one here. Wow, okay, so we found out there are uh, ways to lose in this game. Alright, so it looks like uh, those Apatosaurus that we had ran into. Um, this time I'm going to use the flute on them or something. I feel like the game fucked up though. Yeah, we already... These are not the Apatosaurus. We just need to go left and up here. All right, before we go into the screen, we're going to we're going to save again real fast. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be save scumming in this game. If it's going to have instant fail save. That's one thing that's always kept me from playing this genre of games is I know a lot of them have instant fail states and those kind of piss me off. Uh so yeah. But as long as there's a way around it, this is fine. So we'll just keep saving here. We don't have to waste any time if we uh, screw anything up. Let's get out of here. And uh, let's go talk to the Apatosaurus. So I'm not sure why these guys left after I tried to talk to them. I'm wondering if the game bugged or not. See, these guys actually look, well, not like Eurodongs. We're going to try this on them because it worked on the Brontosaurus. So that is something different that more. What do you got for me? 
honored to transport the builder of citadels. They'll take us wherever you want to go. Okay, you kind of said something similar last time, and then they just sort of left without me. Uh. Hello? So. Maybe I go back out to the map? Interesting. <laughs> yeah. That recorder, it can uh it can go mini Oh hello. Show me where you want to go. Welp, we were in Chama or Cham Champula. Uh let's go to the new place. There's no reason to go back, so let's go forward. Ooh, it is. Oh, back to some narration. Adam had brought hope to the Valley of Shamar, but his adventure was only just beginning. For what use was a single new citadel against the marauding hordes of Marcus Rex? I don't know. That other citadel, the Citadel of Moab, been keeping him out pretty darn well so far. Hey, turtles. What are you doing, Katie? Huh? What are you doing? We got more people riding giant bronze. You see, I don't think I'd be riding them clear out on the neck. I doubt there's any real reason to be all the way out there unless they move based on your voice and they just can't hear you very well if you're uh, clear on their, their their back, their spine. Listen to me trying to figure out the logistics of riding a goddamn dinosaur. <laughs> Oh, okay, so we're in a new valley here to explore. So, that's cool. We can do what we did last time. Kind of move uh, left to right. And uh, I guess this time, if I run into any of those uh, raptor-looking sons of bitches, uh, we're going to get out of dodge. And, uh, hold on. We need to... Come back. I didn't say where it was. It was uh, Sh Champa. Grandpa, I think that's it. Yeah. Get an apple again. I want to go back to that one screen. So anyway, let's uh, let's do some exploring here. I'm probably gonna uh, stop streaming here in about ten minutes or so. All right. So there's nothing to see there, and I can't go south apparently. Oh, never mind. There is something to see here. The Mosasaurus live in lakes. Sometimes, when you throw it... Yes, yes, chick, I know. Huh, okay, so the other lake, I did see... Maybe I have to wait until I see one of the Mon Montosauruses, and then I throw the apple in. Like, that's... Yeah, that's just a repeat. The Montosaurus... Yeah, yeah, we know. We are, uh, we're going to save scum again, just because I don't know how I quite, normally I wouldn't do this, this often, but I don't know how I actually got here, uh, and I don't want to have to repeat that if I get into a fail state again, so we'll just save it, and then we'll, uh, we'll keep moving on. I promise I won't save again until after, uh, stream's over. Let's see here. Steer by the reins. You need to pull them left or right really long. <laughs> yeah. You you might be onto something. That could be part of... Ooh. What is this? We have another... Another nest to steal? Is there more eggs? Oh, there are more eggs. Mmm. Delicious. Let's, let's take those bad boys. You know, I wonder if I can run out of inventory space. I am curious about that. Alright, so nothing there. Luckily, we can kind of cruise through these a little faster now. Yeah, I need to pay attention, um, because that was a little hard to see, and the little mushroom that I got... Wait, where are the mushrooms? I lost them. 
Interesting. I didn't lose the nest, though. Can I go down here? Nope. I can look at the water, though. Can I go up? I can. Yeah, anyway, I need to pay attention uh, to even like the little details because that thing was really hard to see and the little mushroom that I got, which I still don't know what it is, where, where I would have used it. <laughs> Maybe I just no longer need them and the game just sort of gets, gets rid of them out of your inventory. That is definitely possible. All right, so we don't want to keep getting told about the Montasaurus, so we will not... Uh, da, 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 da. Don't want to run into any damn raptors. What were they called? Tyrans, I believe. Oh, screen kind of flashed there a little bit. Interesting. Uh, flat plane. Oh, the CDI took a little while to load there. I thought something was going to happen, but it was just the the song replaying. Let's see here. This is kind of a barren land compared to the other place that we were just at. Where are we at? Allura, I think? Eulura? Not sure if it was actually pronounced. I think Aloy said it. Alloy. I don't know how to pronounce his name either. Maximum boredom. Alright, so we're running out of map. We haven't ran into any sort of areas of interest yet. Oh, music just changed. As I say, we haven't ran into an area of interest yet. All I need to do is gripe about things and it just happens. Pretty sure I've already seen this animation. I think they just changed the camera angle again and like re-recorded the CGI. <laughs> All right, let's talk to the old uh, Euro Dong here. Probably need to play the flute for him. Here are Brontosaurus, my lord, the builders of citadels. Okay. So, do I play the flute for them again, too? Or do I have to feed them a mushroom like those ones? Or feed them something? I like how it starts playing the recorder in the background of the music after they you play it. They see no sign of friendship. Okay, this is what happened last time, and then I got over this by giving them a mushroom. So I might need something like that again, is my guess. So let's keep searching. So far, we haven't found anything uh, of interest to take outside of... The eggs. We could always try to give them the eggs, but let's uh, let's do some searching first. We don't have much left of the map to go. Oh, music pause. We got new music. Area of interest. Oh, I hope this isn't the Tyrans. I might need to run. Why is uh, Shelob from Lord of the Rings coming to mind here? What are these bros? We need to get the fuck out of here, I'm thinking. We are not going to fuck around with these guys uh, like I did with the Tyrans. If they seem aggressive anyway. This is the sacred place of the mighty Ulele. Oh. Okay. 
Maybe this is not a bad thing. They're not immediately killing me. This is Ulan, chief of the Ulele, also known as Arrow Maker. <laughs> Quite the title. Welcome to you, Mungo, friend to all men. And welcome to you, Adam of Mo. News of your accomplishments has reached us from the West. Wait, how? My journey literally started like three hours ago. Granted, th th with the amount of places they moved around to in the distance, it's probably been a little bit longer, but damn. I guess there are uh, sentient uh, pterodactyls. Adam, also known as Citadel Builder. Uh, I don't think I'm really known as that. You may just called me that once. The Yulele need one of your mighty citadels. With it, we could halt the advance of the Tyran in these parts. We would be strong allies to you. Okay, so we need to probably get something for the Brontosaur. This is like uh, what Mungo was. And we need to get something to the Brontosaurus and get them to help build the Citadel. And then these guys will, will help do it with them, is my guess. And these guys really need to get some shirts on. Okay, so this is this is a good area. We're not gonna die. I am the keeper of my people's traditions. I also make arrows, and they call me the arrow maker. <laughs> Ooh, we got some slowdown going on. That animation and the box rotation is a little too much for the old compact disc interactive. Alright, so we can't go anywhere else there. Uh, we can't go north, but we can go south. So, there is some interesting features here. It's the last... Oh, we have some mushrooms. Ah... Uh, these are the ones that worked last time. Or was it these? It was the bigger mushroom is the one that we fed the brontosaurus last time. Um, maybe I should feed... Maybe they want the little ones? Perhaps? Uh... Let's just go with the big ones, just because that's what oh, Dan accidentally clicked on the inventory screen. This thing takes forever to load. All right, so we're gonna go do the same thing. See what happens. <laughs> the skeleton. I just read. Sorry, I wasn't really paying attention to chat for a few minutes there, and uh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. Alright, so... This is what we did last time. I hope... If it doesn't work, we can try the other one. But we use this one. We'll, uh... Try to feed the mushroom to... <laughs> the, the mushroom to the thing that looks like a mushroom head. Because that's how this works. Yeah, this is Sonny made last time. That made him happy, which made him friendly to me. I became part of their lore immediately. These Brontosaurus welcome the bringer of hope. They'll build for the Eulalie if you give them the sign. Oh, the sign? Well, the sign is the fucking flute. This thing fucking fixes everything, so... Here we go. My kitty is passed out behind me. She makes a great pillow. With the help of the Eulalie, they will build a citadel in this place. Fuck yes! Okay, so far my companions have done dick, and I built two citadels. In the plain of Uluru stood the first Uluru. citadel of the Ulele. Of the now Ulele. they could defend their valley against the tyrant. Okay, very nice. I can uh, 
I guess I got a couple of, uh, I got, there's three citadels that now exist. Fantastic. Well, these guys don't seem like they need the lube. They're, they're pretty happy for me to play it, uh, it seemed like. Oh, okay, so what do I do here? Uh, where do I go from here? Okay, last time I went out to the big map. Do I click anywhere here? We'll, uh, we'll leave a screen here. All right, we're going to click the big map here and see what happens. Because last time Aloy popped up and talked to us. Here we go. I have news. I <laughs> I have news. Okay, just tell it to me. I always forget you have to actually click the button and then there's a delay between clicking the button and then waiting for the next uh, sentence to load. So, yeah, my bad. You have given us a citadel. Thank you, Lely. Accept this gift from my people. Okay, right on. I don't know what it is, but it looks a little bit like the uh, tablet. So, Wonder Bar. Where do I, uh, where do I go now? Can I, uh... Am I going back? Oh, very nice. Very nice. Show me where you want to go. Uh, actually, let me see if I can get out of this. Show and me where you want to go. I want to get out of this is what I want. I don't want to go anywhere. Okay, we'll just go back here. What I want to do is I want to talk oh, no. to my uh, compatriots we'll here. We'll in, in no time at all. Oh, wonderful. I guess he's back to scouting for me. Until the next time, Adam of Mo. The Hope Builder. Adam of Mo. Part of the Brontosaurus's lore. I've uh, accrued quite the, the quite the amount of titles in the last two hours. Even my dad is like riding my dick. Huh. That's kind of a, I guess, a cool, different travel animation from last time. <laughs> All right, so we're going to... We're going to go here real quick. We're going to... We're going to talk to our bros. We might go over and get a... Uh, what's his face? Mongo. I think he's over here. I want to say. Because this is the Brontosaurus is here. The ones I just went to. And that's probably how I travel out of the place. Um, anyway, let's, uh, let's talk to our bros and see if they have anything to say to us. This is we Dino. haven't seen any Mosasaurus in this valley. Thanks for the note. We can find some apples. All right, what do you got to say? I think we should go back to Uluru. Oh. Okay, so perhaps we are not in the correct spot, according to this guy. Good to know. And. uh... What do you got to say for me, thug? Thug obey! <laughs> well, uh, I wonder if I should feed thug. We'll, we'll hold on to these. Because uh, last time he ate them, and I don't know what he did with them, and they just got replaced, so I want to hold on to them just in case. I just rhymed. Uh, how do I get out of here? That's right. How you get in and out of these menus changes depending on the screen, it's a, it's a little interesting. So we're going to use this guy, and we'll see if this guy has anything to say. 
Dina told me the chef. Oh, yeah, sorry, I gotta use it on myself. My bad. Let's see if we get a hint here. Speak, Speak. and you will find. Huh. Okay. So, not a very good hint system, but that's fine. We can figure it out. We can kind of roam around. This guy says go back to Uluru. I'm not even sure how to do that. Outside of... Because we used the Apatosaurus last time to leave here. I'm wondering if... What's his face will let me choose once I go to this map. We can't leave without Eloy. Oh. He's in he's right here. Or right here. He's, wait, no, he's not with us. That's uh her 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 mate, and that's her fuck. Okay. Oh well. Oh hey, there he is. I have news. I have news. Wonderful. He's joined the party again. Welcome to the party, pal. A herd of Points to anybody who gets that uh, movie reference. Oh. My lord, Tyron are approaching the citadel at Shamar. Oh shit. My lord, Tyron are approaching the citadel at Shamar. Okay, well, let's get out of here then. Let's, uh... You know what? Uh, I was going to end the stream at 10.30. It's actually 10 minutes past. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and save it here. And uh, please stick around with me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to host somebody real fast. And uh, yeah, I have uh, actually really enjoyed my time with this game so far. Uh, despite kind of making fun of uh, the story a little bit and how rushed a few things are, it's been enjoyable. I really kind of like it. So anyway, I'm going to save my progress here and I will stream um, possibly tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I have been streaming less recently simply because going to the gym and just not having enough time to get stuff done in a day. Uh, but since I'm really enjoying this, I'll, I'll keep it up. So anyway, I got, uh, got that saved. Let me, uh, let me bring up somebody here. See if there's anybody around that we can host. Do -do 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 -do. Anybody cool doing anything fun right now? Uh, Nima, Nima 92. All right, let's, uh, let's go into old Nima's channel and give him some love. Anyway, uh, it's a good stream, everybody. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end things here and, uh, yeah, I'll see everybody here in just a little while. I'm gonna turn on music for a few seconds, then I'll host Nima and we'll be ready to roll later all.